Hi everyone, I'm back again now to review the painting that we did, that I did. And uh, there are a few things that are bothering me about it, which often happens when you put it aside for a while. So it's been a few days now, and what I noticed is I got carried away with the painting, and I forgot that over here I'd made this thumbnail with it coming out in the middle and said, no, we don't want that, let's make it come out through here. Uh, and I didn't. <laughs> and I think maybe I've gone a little bit too red there. So what I'm going to start off by doing is, uh, I know what I was doing. I did think I had, it, I had it going out through there, but I wanted to make the, um, make it not so much detail. And I started to put in a bit of purples and I got carried away and started putting in grass and whatever. So I think what I'm going to do is just brush that back a bit. Let's take some of the pastel off there, just falling into my dust catcher down the bottom so I can use it to make another pastel later on. And I think I might knock a bit of that back as well. And then I'll just go in with some softer colours through there. A bit of and just put more of that in for, for some sort of the earthy colours. And then I'm going to knock some of this red back a bit by using some of the sienna colour. So I'll leave a little bit of it, but not as much as I had. I, I just think I went a little bit overboard with it. And I'm after this more, just a few patches of the really bright red, red but a bit, a bit more of the more sienna colour. I'm going to stand back from it now. What I have to decide is, am I happy down here or do I want to do something else with that? What I might do is just put a few little... green it splits in here. So I've got a, a bit of the um, vegetation throw, showing through. I've, I've had it very red and which is all very well but I do want a bit of variety so I'm going to put a little bit of the green back into there. And try and put some uh, peachy colours in there, um, some Purple's in there as well. Uh, a few bits of yellow. A little bit of the purples is going up into some of these spots for a, a little bit of shadow in some of the areas of the grasses. Now the other thing I didn't really like as I reviewed it was this area here. I don't like the way that shadow is going. I want to have a bit more of a hump of grass there so what I'm going to do is just grass that area up and make it a little bit lighter. And pop. So that the shadow has a bit more form and it's actually coming from the base of that, that shrub there. A little bit of the purples is going up into some of these spots for a, a little bit of shadow in some of the areas of the grasses. Now the other thing I didn't really like as I reviewed it was this area here. I don't like the way that shadow is going. I want to have a bit more of a hump of grass there so what I'm going to do is just grass that area up and make it a little bit lighter and pop. so that the shadow has a bit more form and it's actually coming from the base of that, that shrub there.
So I've shaped the shadow a bit more the way I wanted it, uh, and I'll probably bring it a little bit further up that bush. So just putting in. A little bit more up the bush. I don't want that bit of light there because there won't be light around there. It's all in shadow. Oops. Just as well I've got that tray under there. And I'm going to just smooth that off a little bit. So it's give that a, a little bit more of definition there of the, the shadows for the bank coming in there. And I'm going to give it a little bit of a finger smooth there just to make it a little, a little bit damp, a little bit blurry. There. And this is a bit of the dry earth area where the where it's not so wet, not so much reflection in it. And that gets mixed up a bit with the Is that somewhere here. Now that I've made those corrections, I'm just stepping back and seeing if I'm happy with them. I don't like the way this is working here. I'm just giving that a little bit of a whoosh down. I am happier with that area there now. Maybe I'd want that to be a little bit rounder, and maybe that needs to be a little bit rounder because it is the nature of this um, that it comes out in round areas. So I'm just going to do by just putting the grass in in a bit of a rounder. Pattern there. Maybe a touch of the Colors there. What does bother me also is I think the blue, this this sky reflection. So I'm happy. I think I'm going to call that done now. The sky could be a little bit more blended, but I do like the way it seems to be dropping the light down onto there. I'm very happy with the mountains back there. They're nice and blurred and pushed back into the distance. I like this little headland and the way, except for that little bit there, which I don't really like, which I fixed. I like the way this is coming in and zigzagging around and having a few little curvy bits to go into. I may at this stage just give some of these little areas a little bit of a draw. Sharpen them up slightly as they come around. Just so there's a little bit more definition on some of those edges to give it a little bit more interest, and that's the same in here. So I'm happy.
I think I'm going to call that done now. The sky could be a little bit more blended, but I do like the way it seems to be dropping the light down onto there. I'm very happy with the mountains back there. They're nice and blurred and pushed back into the distance. I like this little headland and the way, except for that little bit there, which I don't really like, which I fixed. I like the way this is coming in and zigzagging around and having a few little curvy bits to go into. I may, at this stage, just give some of these little areas a little bit of a draw. Sharpen them up slightly as they come around. Just so there's a little bit more definition on some of those edges to give it a little bit more interest. And that's the same in here. They're little shadowy bits of the edges, so I'm just softening them off a little bit. So they're not so... And I, I could just get carried away now. This is supposed to be the review stage, not, not repainting it. <laughs> so I think I'll call that a day now. I need to put my signature in and I'm going to put it over in this. Pop it in down here. I'm not sure whether I like it there. You can't really see it enough, I don't think. I don't want it to be too prominent, but you, you do need to be able to read it. So I'm just painting over it. And we might try and put it over in this corner, which will also help it from coming out of there. And I think it's going to show up better on this. So it does show up better there, and it does stop the eye going out with the river. So that's a good um, technique if you want to have something sort of coming out the corner, but a little block in. I'm just giving this a few bigger grasses in that, that corner there too. With the sky, happy with the, tr the um, shoreline back there. It's just sitting back enough. I've got a good headland here and a nice uh, sparkle on the water. Coming through, I fixed that problem where I had it all coming out the middle and I've sent it out the side. I've stopped it falling out by putting my signature there. I've knocked back the red. I still wanted it to be red, but I've put more sienna in so it's not such bright crimsony red and just left a few dots of that for surprises. I've fixed up my um, shadow area here, which I wasn't really keen on, and I think I fixed that, although I'm looking at it again. I just need to cut back into the base of that there a little bit more. And I think it sits there better now. I can also give that, if I want to, a couple of uh, lighter, just a few little dashes of light on top of that to contrast with the um, bush there. I've put a bit more of the sky reflections in, sharpened up some of those edges there, and I'm calling that finished now. I hope you enjoyed that demonstration from planning stage right through to critiquing it at the end. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.